my interpretation of this is that, you know, it's not that people and politicians have forgotten that there's economic gains from trade. Uh, it's just that more and more people perceive trade as part of the problem when it comes to um, solving some of the critical challenges of our time, which include uh, reducing poverty and inequality, which uh, include achieving a sustainable economy and also uh, maintaining peace and security. So it's really uh, the narrative, I think, that, uh, that 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 is the problem, if you will, which is also why we uh, wrote this report, where we wrote our report last year, is because we're really trying to change uh, this narrative and actually um, show to people uh, that trade has been and can be a powerful driver of inclusiveness. I mean, just to give you one uh, fact, if you look at low and um, middle income economies since the foundation of the WTO 30 years ago, their income has almost tripled. And uh, uh, that has led to a narrowing of um, uh, of the of the income gap, the per capita income gap between these economies and uh, and high income economies, and and we estimate that up to one third of this effect is because of uh, lower trade costs, in part facilitated uh, by the WTO. So trade is a huge um, uh, force for good, or can be a huge force for good for the economy.